Hey, what's up players? Salipso from Summoner's War here. Today we're going to semi-auto Dragon's B10. And at the end of this video, there's also guest summoning on Bisundial's account from Channel 1. And he gets some pretty good monsters. So definitely stay tuned for that and congratulate Bis on some of his good monsters that he gets. Like I said, today we're going to be semi-autoing Dragon's B10. And as you can tell, I, I have some new six stars here. I made my Veromos six star and uh, my Varid six star. And these five six stars are the only six stars I have, and they're going to be the ones that I'll be using for my Dragon's B10 team. Um, Lumerici is going to be the leader, naturally, because she's going to have 100% resist after that. Megan is going to be support. Her runes aren't really that great. Four of them are plus nine. Um, or three of them are plus nine, one of them is plus nine, and the rest are plus twelve. So they're not the ideal dragon's B10 runes. So that's why I said semi-auto, because the mini-boss is actually really difficult to auto with this team, especially since one of the monsters is going to be wind. And you can see I have broken sets all up in this place. Broken set uh, on Chasun, broken second set on uh, Veromos, because this despair rune, I don't know where else to use it, and he needs that extra HP because this is a four-star rune, this is a five-star rune. Um, so broken violent set, uh, two energy sets, but a broken violent set, because, like I said, the extra HP is going to be really helpful. So Megan is act d does actually have a full set, but in order for her to be truly viable for Dragon's B10, she would have to have this rune maxed, the speed rune, and also this HP rune maxed, which I don't have. So that's why I can only semi-auto it right now. It's ironic because in order to fully auto Dragon's B10, you need good violent runes. But in order to get good violent runes, you need to farm and auto Dragon's B10. I'm just going to auto all the crystals. This team does really well against the crystals, especially because of uh, Varid's crowd control. That's actually one of the biggest reasons that this team can take on the crystals. And by the way, if I sound a little bit different, it's because I don't have my main microphone on me. I'm just using the built-in microphone. Uh, there are only a few things that one can pack on a trip and uh, I'm actually recording this from New York City for you guys. So hello from New York and um, represent. I really like the city here so far. Lots of energy, lots of things to do. So I'm just recharging for the weekend since I just flew in yesterday and then I'm gonna go out on some adventures the crowd control from Verit is really helpful with the crystals, uh, and also it helps that Veromos can stun as well. I'd love to build him up with some Devil Mons to increase his stun chances and his chances to get continuous damage in. And continuous damage is really key uh, for Dragon's B10. That's one of the biggest reasons that this team can has the potential to auto is because it has three continuous damage dealers. Megan is a continuous damage dealer, Lumericia is a continuous damage dealer, and Veromos is a continuous damage dealer. So this is the part where I'm going to have to manual because the AI just has a lot of potential to screw things up and I can't afford to do that because if someone dies in this level then it, it greatly decreases my chances of autoing the rest of it and usually someone dies in this level if I'm fully on auto. Um, there are times when, you know, like one or two monsters might die and then I could still auto the rest, but um, I just don't want to take that chance, you know, especially since this is being recorded and I don't want to re-record it. So this is, I'm showing you the strategy that I'm using to beat a, a Dragon's B10 essentially 100% of the time and that is semi-autoing. Um, there's going to be another part where I'm going to uh, have to manual it a little bit, especially at the first tower in the dragon stage. So that's the part where if I want to feel super secure that I'm going to beat it for sure, then I'll manual it. But um, most of the time, the auto works. The only times it doesn't work is when RNG... Arn Jesus uh, isn't really on my side, and uh, I don't really land a lot of continuous damages, whereas the crystal and the dragon 
land continuous damages on my team left and right. So that's really the only time that um, autoing the boss stage doesn't work because Lumericia can only keep up with so much, you know. If I wanted to increase my chances even further, I have a rune, a five-star rune on Lumericia that isn't maxed out. Uh, and it's a defense rune too, and defense really helps with dragons. So if I really wanted to increase my chances, I would power up that rune too. But, um, you know, it's, it's just so expensive. And I've already spent all of my mana uh, during the Power Stone event. And as you saw earlier, I only have like 100k mana, not even. And I, I'd rather farm for good runes um, from Dragon's B10. So now, now that we're at the Crystals again, we can continue autoing and we'll be just fine. Um, if, I, if I really, really want to make sure that we'll be beating Dragon's B10 and autoing the rest, I would actually manual at the end of this stage and make sure that I have uh, Vered's, um, what's, a, what's a skill? Absolute Zero skill that he just used. Um, I would have that skill off cooldown and make sure that I can reduce the tower's attack bar to zero before we really get started. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, we also want Megan's buff skill off cooldown by the end. So here I'm just gonna um, just keep pressing the attack button, the default attack button, uh, and I'll show you the strategy that we use. So if this was off cooldown, I would use this buff right here and then I would reset their attack bar to zero so that the tower doesn't get that initial continuous damage and the dragon is also at zero because he doesn't have immunity yet. So th this is why having a speedy team is important. Continue to land continuous damages on the left crystal and once I, once I feel like there are enough continuous damages on the left crystal, then I could just go ahead and auto the rest because um, then we know that the left crystal is gonna be dead pretty surely, you know, pretty soon and pretty sure that we're gonna be killing that left crystal. So now I can just go ahead and auto because on my auto mode is already on the setting of killing that left crystal first. So we can see that continuous damages are stacking up on the left crystal but also on the team. Um, Veromos is dead but that's okay. It's really these three team members that we have left are all we need in order to finish strong. Um, Megan with her continuous damage and her buffs, her support is going to be really helpful. Lumericia with her heals and high resist is also going to be really helpful, uh, if not critical, because she can actually solo the boss. The only time sometimes this happens is that Lumericia heals the dragon instead of herself, so that's something to watch out for, because if she heals the dragon, aka Vered, um, and she doesn't heal herself, then she can also die pretty quickly that way. So that's what I mean by semi-auto, is there, there are a few things that the AI still does that we have to watch out for. Most of the time, you know, Lumericia can solo. If the entire team survives the first tower, then also uh, the rest of it is pretty easy. After killing the first tower, that's really the biggest challenge for this boss stage. And the mini boss is the other big challenge. But the crystals themselves, uh, this team can handle pretty easily. So it's definitely a candidate for 100% auto clear. It's just that the runes on this team aren't that great, and many of the monsters haven't been skilled up all the way. So this is Dragon's V10 semi auto. Wish me luck on building this team up to full auto pretty soon, and I'll keep you posted. Maybe make another vid once it's fully autoable. So let's see what we've got. I've only been farming Dragon's B10 like this week, by the way, so I don't have that many great runes, especially uh, violent runes. I've only seen one of them drop. Uh, summoning Stone, you know, not too bad. So there's Dragon's B10 on semi-auto, and now stay tuned for the summoning. Okay, so it's time for our guest summoning on Bisundayal's account. Let's see what he's got. He's got 14 mystical scrolls, a fire scroll, and a light and darkness scroll. So let's start with the mystical scrolls. 
So his monster slots check out and let's start the guest summoning. This is my first guest summoning, so shout out to Basundial for um, making this happen. And here we go. Mystical scroll first 14. Wind werewolf. Oh, here we go. Lightning on the second one. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, Arnold. Nice one. Does he already have an Arnold? Um, no, he doesn't. So he's got an Arnold, Arnold now. Congrats, Biss. Um, we've still got many more to go. Ooh, lightning again. What do we got now? Water Sam, Water Samurai, and Samurais were just buffed, so he's got uh, this new skill now, Sword of the Supreme Sky Wolf. This is a really good skill, by the way. I'm a great fan of Samurais now. I have a Wind Samurai, and uh, he's just great after the update. So Water Drunken Master, let's see what else. Water Epicion Priest, okay. Uh, Rena is not bad, I'd rather have Chloe, but Rena is not bad. A lot of water so far. Water Lizard Man. Wind and Ugami. Okay. Bowen. Fire Harpy. Wind Griffon. Wind Griffon is good. Great Giants B10 monster. Yeah, not that one. Water Martial Cat. Eh, fusion Food. Let's see what else we got. Water Harpy. Let's see. Fire Harpy, and Fire Marshal Cat. So, not a bad pull overall. Two great four-star, natural four-stars. Um, hopefully I didn't use up all my luck, because the Fire Scrolls and the Light and Darkness Scroll. Ooh, Fire Scroll, another natural four-star succubus. Okay, great fusion food for Ifrit. And Light and Darkness Scroll, Dark Marshal Cat. Ooh, Dark Marshal Cat. Not so great, but not bad. Three natural four stars. And two of them being really good. So congratulations, Bis, and thanks for letting me do the summon.